Shivaji Rao, better known as Superstar, is celebrating his 73rd birthday today and we want to dedicate a video to his growth, times where people often thought he was done and his continuous stardom where he still gives competition to stars of any generation. We all know Rajini Sard as a bus conductor, got introduced in 1975 in Abhuvaraganga. He mainly starred in antagonist role at the start of his career. However, in an industry where skin color was important to be a protagonist, Rajini proved that skin color has nothing to do with being an actor and it's all about talent. His movies like Bhuvana Aur Kelukri, Mullam Malaram and Awala Pritan won him many applauds and his dual role in Billa painted an image of an action hero and the rest as we say is history. Now when Baba was released back in 2002, many believed that Rajini's stardom was coming down but Chandramugi proved otherwise and of course with Jayla's release this year, we know who is the king of mass and style. After delivering 168 films with two more releases coming next year and probably one of the most expected movie tentatively titled Television 171 directed by Lokesh Kanagaraj is slated for 2025, we want to take a look at Rajini's top 10 movies so far. Now this is not a movie list based on movie box office collection as a lot of his early movies did not have the international release that his most recent movies do. This is more of a personal list. We'll start our list with Mullam Malaram starring Rajini as Kali, Sarit Babu as Kumaran and Shobha as Rajini's sister Valli. The story is about Kali and Valli who face hardship in life as siblings. Kumaran who sees Kali's rebellious actions but is understanding. As Kali gets into an accident, the story explores a complex relationship between Kali in the 70s, Rajini was not named a superstar yet. However, he was more of a the talented actor side where his movies didn't require any mass dialogues or mass scenes. This movie won many applause, especially from Rajini's mentor K. Balachandran. Number 9, after having established himself as an action hero with Billa and of course a scary villain in various films and as a skilled performer, Rajani hadn't tried his hands on a full out comedy and that was Tilmulu. Tilmulu is about Chandru, of course our Rajani, who secures a job by adopting a dual identity as twin brothers to please his traditional boss Sri Ramachandra Mutri. As Chandru's fabricated twin brother Indran falls in love with Sri Ramachandramurti's daughter, Chandra weaves a complex web of lies which leads to a laugh out riot. The movie is based on a Hindi movie Gaumal which brought Rajani and his mentor back together again. It's definitely a must watch for any of Rajani's fan. Number 8 is Mundur Murich. The cast in this film was a popular trio in the 70s, Rajani, Kamal and Sri Devi. In this movie, Balaji and Prasad, Kamal and Rajani both fall in love with Selvi, of course played by Sri Devi. Selvi falls in love with Balaji but also uncovers Prasad's deceitful plan. After a boating incident where Balaji dies and other turn of events, Selvi ends up marrying Prasad's dad. The film is a perfect story of consequences of deception and really a perfect revenge. Number 7 is the ever classic Muttu. Rajini went from an actor without any mass scenes to an actor where all his movies must have a mass scene as fans expect it. <laughs> It was coming to a point where if we didn't see the emotional actor as often and Muthu reminded fans that Rajini is not just this mass hero but he is a skillful actor as well. Now, we actually did a full review on Muttu since it was just recently re-released. So if you have not seen it, please check it out on our channel and we have the link to it in the description below. Next up on the list at number 6 is Pariyappa. Hey, 
Rajini paved the path for giving equal screen presence for female characters in this one. Typically, female lead roles don't get as much screen space in Indian films, at least in the early 2000s and 90s, but this became one of those movies to turn that around. Ramya Krishna's Neelambari is a character that we cannot forget, and of course Rajini's mask is always a highlight of any of his films. Now, you can't make a Rajini top film list without Basha at number 5. Manikam, a humble auto driver, ensures that the well-being of his family in Madras. Little does the sibling know about his past which resurfaces when Manikam is threatened by a vengeful gangster Anthony. Basha is a huge milestone of a movie for Rajini and his portrayal as the humble rickshaw driver who smiles even when getting beat to a former gangster one of many plots. Even though he has various punch dialogues in various different films, his one-liner in Basha is still popular to this day. Number 4 is the only combination of Mani Ratnam and Rajani with Talabadi. Surya Rajani, after being abandoned by his teenage mother, grows up to become a vigilante. He meets the gangster who fights for injustice, Devraj, played by Malayalam powerhouse Mamuti. As Arjun, which is actually a debut role for Arvind Sami, tries to end the violence caused by Devraj and Surya, family secrets unfolds, leading to a tragic turn of events where Surya must choose family or friendship. Now, giving equal screen presence to both powerhouses like Rajani and Mamuti, and ensuring that Rajani's fans also got what they wanted from him is what makes Mani Ratnam a master of his art. Talbot is another movie that must be in any Rajani's top movie list. Number three is the first collaboration of Shankar and Rajani, Sivaji, which focuses, of course, the corruption of garment workers and how everything requires bribery. Even though this is a repeated theme in Tamil films and typically repeated by Shankar, the screenplay of Sivaji and the grandeur of the action sequence and the sets for the songs are the highlight of the film. Even the comedy track with the relate Vivekser brings the house down with laughter and is one of the most memorable comedy track of our recent times. As we mentioned before, Mass Scene is a walk in the park for a Rajani and his one-liner, Anningana Kutama Varam, Singa Singalata Varam, is still a line today and is used in various films. <laughs> Singa, Singa Ladawaro. And then comes in at number two, and is actually the second combination of Shankar and Rajani. When Ender was released, it's a crazy combination that we never expect that we'd see with Rajani and Aishwarya Rai in the lead roles. Being at the top 10 box office hits, it follows Dr. Vasigaran, who invents an advanced humanoid robot, Chitti, both played by Rajani. Chitti's emotion leads to his manipulations and transforms it into a destructive killer machine. Whether Dr. Vasigaran can stop it or not, forms the rest of the film. It now was great to see Rajani back as a villain after so many years and his performance as Chitti, whether it's the comedy portion or the villainous portion, it's a role that could only be done by Rajani. <laughs> Finally, at the top of the list is Jailer, and this is Rajani's highest box office collection movie. Retired police officer Muttavail, Rajani, seeks revenge for his son's murder. As Muttavail orchestrates various strategic plans with the help of his friends, played by main stars from various different film industry, the movie unravels an emotional and action-packed story. As fans were again saying Rajani was done, as he had kind of given back-to-back disasters of box office movies, the release of Jailer proved that no way and there's no stopping Rajani regardless of his age. Hukum. Tiger ka hukum. Hey, 
line from that song literally summarized Rajni's life, his fans, and how he is the one and only superstar. Now, of course, Taliver has given so many hits, and with this list, we try to get movies from different years, different genres, and different characters Rajni played. What did you think of our list? And is there a film that you think we should have included? Please let us know in the comments below.